the Hartsville Red Foxes have done it again. 65 to 62 winners in overtime over Eastside. Hartsville is the boys 3A state basketball champion for a second straight year. Unbelievable, man. I tell you, y'all. We dream of this, and it finally came true, so um, I, I just thank God, man. You know, it feels great, man. Uh, I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be with you guys, the team, the coach, Sam, and everybody at Hartsville. Heart, 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 heart. When I took the job here, like, I had an expectation of greatness. I didn't know exactly what it was. I didn't research much. Um, I was, the first time I saw Hartsville basketball, I was um, an assistant coach at OW, and we were waiting to play our game. I mean, no, we had just played our game. Uh, we played the state championship against LR. And so as we're, we just lost, and we're, and we're looking to come off, and I happen to look up in the stands, and there's nothing but red, it's red everywhere. And, Hartsville is in the tunnel, hyped up. I walked past Coach Sam. Coach Sam has got a serious look on his face. And you just knew that they were there for business. Uh, well, I was young then, so like, I really didn't understand it, like, the vibe. So, I mean, now it's like, it's like, man, I wish I could be in that stage. So, I don't think I gotta do now is work for it. And seeing J-Bo win it, you know, like he's big brother or whatever, so, I mean, he only motivates me to do right. Well, back when J-Boy and I was here, you know, they were more united as a team. Their main concept was to get out in transition, play play good man-to-man -man defense. And once he graduated, they kind of lost track of that. I couldn't understand how this team, when I looked at it, had gone, had gone from that to what I was inheriting. And when I got here, uh, it was amazing to see all of this talent you're talking about. Shoot, I think J-Boy had not too long left. You had a couple other guys who had not too long left. And the talent level that was here, that uh, that could really, really make something happen. You know what I'm saying? And you saw flashes of it as we came through last year, but it was kind of hard to get them all to, to understand what winning was because they'd never been a part of it. Make sure we're closing out. We got to talk about what we're doing. We're talking about closing out. Close out. I got to close out. I got to close out. I'm sliding. I'm sliding. I'm sprinting. I'm sprinting. I got to close out. I got to close out. The, first, the next person doesn't go until the next person hit, until the first person hits that third goal. Winning is a culture. Winning is winning is more than X's and O's. Winning is more than talent. Winning is you know family. Right? You know you've been through practice. You know my biggest thing is they always tell you I'm teaching family, 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 family because I feel like. It takes a team, it takes somebody to rebound, it takes somebody to score, it takes somebody to play defense. You know, and if we're all for everybody else, because you for your family, I don't care who you are. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how much you make you got beat, you can't nobody else in the streets now. You know, and that's the mentality I tried to get them to buy into. You know, I feel like we've got a chance to do something special. Um, we've got a chance to bring it back. We have great school spirit here at Hartsville High School. Uh, great support from the community. And that is uh, no better evidence uh, during the, the times when we're competing for state championships.
discipline, hard work, and, uh, and putting it in. Uh, I think that uh, we'll see. I think it's too early to tell uh, how good we will be. We have a lot of potential and a lot of upside, a lot of wonderful young men, and uh, they're putting in a lot of work, and uh, I think we're excited about this. Hey! We're really good, like man. It. I like it. What's the next <laughs> We have a chance to be good for a very long time. I mean, we got seniors, and then right behind them, we got, you know, uh, 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 Trey Hannibal. You know, you got the seniors, Karan, JT, Don Quell, and then right after that, you got Trey, that's a junior, and then shortly after that, you got uh, uh, Cesar, who's a 6'7 freshman, and then we've got eighth graders coming up. So I think that the work that we're putting in right now, from study hall, which is dealing with the academics, um, uh, uh, to the weight room is dealing with their physical strength and mental strength and then actually getting out of there, out there and, and, and understanding the game of basketball if you look at some of our drills it was I have to think about what I'm doing and then the drills translated into our play yo that's him oh yeah I got my man Wayne with me right here Oh yeah, Mr. Sanders right here. Um, I'm Mr. Sanders, it's my second year here at Hartsville High School. Um, Trey was in my class last year and them boys went, what, s semifinals? Yeah, well, second round of playoffs. Yeah, second round in the playoffs and they went pretty far. But I, I stressed it in the importance of family and having a bond that's stronger than just winning. Because you're going to lose. You know, you got to lose to win so you can understand, you know, the sweetness of victory. And um, it just meant a lot to me that um, Trey just seemed like he got his head on straight. You know, shout out to Karan, um, all the rest of them boys, man. I, I, I don't want to see him try to go through all of them because I don't know all of them by name. But when I see them, it's love. So um, I hope that that's what they're doing with this uh, documentary. Hopefully it can be a gateway into a new era where um, players not only play well together on the court, but also bond together off the court, making sure they're getting their work done, holding each other accountable. If somebody mess up, don't be afraid to pull them out. But pull them out in a way that you would want to be pulled out. You know, if you're a one-on-one -on -one type person, pull me out one-on-one. -on -one. But if you're the type of person that, you know, you're, you have a, a strong confidence about yourself and you want to get better, because you're either getting better every day or worse every day. Mm -hmm. That's it. Peace. Appreciate that, man. Oh, man. I told him it was cool. I said, we gotta go by Mr. Well, you gonna come with us? We're just gonna walk around. Wayne's World.com, and y'all know what time it is. I'm gonna buy it up, man. Hey, I'm telling you, I'm on that field. I'm coming this show. Hey! Hey! I gotta get a ride. What's up, Karan? What's up, Karan? Look out, look out, look. What up, Zell? What's up, bro? <laughs> hey, you a clown, bro. Lakewood. We're going to put DQ on Grant. <laughs> yeah. Wow. We'll put Karan. Now, nah, we'll put Cezanne on Slim. <laughs> yeah. Who I got, though? I got, I got, um, Juwan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to see it. Well, you got I'll huh? get, uh, ah, uh, what's my man's name, man? <laughs> he just transferred from yeah, South Florida. Yeah, you got Grant. You talking about um, light skin boy? Yeah, AJ. Yeah, he play with he play with Team South Carolina. That Quentin. Yeah, yeah Quentin, Quentin, Quentin. 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 Yeah. Something. You think he gonna start though? He might start. Something to how we already got the matchups. Yeah. Carl or Isaiah. Oh yeah. Uh, who gonna guard CJ though? Nah, I need I guard CJ. Yeah. Well, that's easy work. Cesar can body with Isaiah when we want to. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's no possible way everybody can get there. You know what I'm saying? We've got to be, everybody's got to be for another person. Uh, bond with my teammates. I'm real cool with them. I love them. I hope nothing happens to them. 
I really am good friends with them because I don't do anything to go out my way to be aggravating or be stupid or annoying. So I have good relationships with all of them and they're fun, cool, funny people just to hang out with and chill. So I really enjoy balling them guys. Yeah, but all those close, all those people together playing ball, same correctly. So we should have good chemistry on the court. And outside of school, we all hang together, laugh, and joke, walk class with each other, have fun. All of us got a good bond, like we know how to play together. Some got fun, like all of us been playing together. So it's just getting better, all of us together. Well, we only have one choice, and that's to pull together if we want to reach state championships. So our bond is really tight now, and everybody's looking out for one another. And so on the way from here is up. So yeah, our bond is tight, just like coach's bond. Once again, another great job. Too. Yourself too. Yourself too. Yourself too. Um, nothing much more to say, man. You guys been working hard. Weight room went went hard. Tomorrow's gonna be another hard. Day. We got one more hard day until the break. I know that. Let's 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 get let's knock out this next day. Um, Coach Eric, anything? Good job. Good job today. Oh well, just to let you know. Uh, and I want you to give him a hand, Coach Eric, because I'm new JV coach. So Uh, Coach Tay going to be here sporadically. Coach Tay is trying to graduate. Yeah. So as much as he can be here, he'll be here. Um, God gives you everything you need. And personally, we could go out and try to find some more coaches, but I feel like we have everything we need right here. Coach Daly said something. He was like, you can't have a jealous spirit. That's one, that's one key to being, to being great. One mental key to being great is you can't have a jealous spirit, and I don't think we have any jealous spirits here. I think it's out. I think it's gone. All right, so let's continue. Let's continue to work hard. Let's continue to do what we do. All right? Um, Coach Lex, anything? All right, let's go. Oh, oh uh, also, we might have uh, a college coming through tomorrow. We definitely have a couple next week. Yes, you got schools coming in, guys. So keep grinding, keep grinding, keep grinding. All right, let's go get it up. Good job. Up. Hey, 545 a.m. tomorrow. Good work. Hey, if you don't have a ride, let coach know. Let somebody know, we'll pick you up. Discipline. Discipline. Dedication. Dedication. Determination. 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 Desire. Desire. I am my brother's keeper. Family means everything, all right? Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Great job, boy. I, I want to bring it back to what it was, and I, I, I feel like it can be this year. Um, we got a tough, tough lead. <laughs> Lakewood are stud, like Lakewood stacked. Uh, 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 Darlington is great. Crestwood got some good young talent. Uh, uh, Lou Golf got two very good playoffs players. Um, and then our schedule is tough. We have Sumter, we have uh, AC Flora, we have Cardinal Newman. We play in the Phenom Hoop Report. We go up to uh, 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 Wilson, North Carolina for a Christmas tournament. Got to play one of the top players in the country. You know, so it's going to be tough. It ain't going to be easy. But I think that we got a chance to do something special.